Hi, and welcome to this section of the Advanced Algebra Tutor. And in this section, we're going to tackle the uh, concept of geometric sequences and series. Now, just to recap, in the last section, we covered arithmetic sequences and series, and those are just sequences that have a constant amount between each element of the sequence. So you look at the difference between the elements, uh, the element and the one right before it, and you should have a constant amount between them, and so it's a special kind of sequence, a special kind of series, okay? And, uh, and in this section, we're going to jump to geometric sequences and geometric series, which are also a little bit special, but in a different way. So instead of the terms being equally spaced by a constant difference, uh, as in, a in, as in an uh, arithmetic series or an arithmetic sequence, the geometric sequence in series is going to have terms that differ by a constant ratio. So instead of the difference between these terms being a constant amount, uh, in a geometric sequence, the terms are going to be different by a constant ratio. So when you divide one term divided by the previous term, it'll be a constant number. So again, it's a special case because the, uh, the numbers that come out of these sequences are going to be, uh, have special properties because they'll have a ratio, a constant ratio between them. So let's just get started and, and kind of write this down and work on up to it here. A um, sequence is a geometric sequence. Okay, I'm going to underline that because that's the main point here. If there is a common ratio, uh, which I'll talk about in a minute, between, I'm going to call it a common ratio denoted R, between uh, A sub N and A sub N minus 1, which just means between elements between element uh, here and the element right before it. So there's a common ratio. So let's just call, go into an example because you can read definitions like this all day long and still not really understand what it means, but uh, a single example will make it clear. If I gave you the sequence 1, 3, 9, 27, dot, 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 it goes on and on, okay? Then I asked you, okay, obviously these do not differ by a constant number, just like the, the arithmetic guys, okay? But let's look at the ratio between this. What is 3 divided by 1? It's equal to 3, okay? So that there, we say the ratio between them is 3. Now let's look at this one. What is 9 divided by 3? Well, that's also equal to 3, so we say the ratio between these is equal to 3. And let's look at this. 27 divided by 9, that's also equal to 3. So you see in each case, the ratio between one element and the one before it is equal to 3. So it's called a geometric sequence. It's called a geometric sequence. So we have a common ratio, R is what we call it, and that's equal to 3 in this case. Okay, And depending on the numbers you have, for the different sequences you have, the ratio might be 2 or 10 or 15 or 1 fifth or whatever, but it's going to be a constant ratio between uh, elements like this. Okay, So let's consider further, okay, consider further, Okay, because we know that the ratio is now equal to 3, and because we know that we're calling this ratio R, okay, for the same sequence, 1, 3, 9, 27, dot, 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 okay, 